Let's start with a story from Stafford County, Virginia. Hey, 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 it doesn't involve any arrests for once. Thanks to down trees during last week's snowstorm, a mother in labor had to walk a quarter mile through the woods in the snow to get to an emergency crew who took her to the hospital. You can see there's a couple different creeks down there and we had to go back up and over the neighbors uh, had some chicken wire. Some of it had fallen down. Monday's storm left the couple's street impassable. So mom Noel in active labor had to walk through the snowy woods to the next road up just to get to a medic unit. There is always something wild happening in Stafford. It's like a cold Florida. Now the parents, Noel and Chris, are doing well, and so is little baby Josephine. By the way, they named her after St. Joseph, who is regarded as the patron saint for firefighters. They should have named her after the patron saint of sloshing through the snow, St. Frostbite. I would have gone with that. That is what I'm talking about. They have earned the right to rub this story in her face. I am story. never going to let her forget about never. this. Right? <laughs> every time she never. gets sassy, every time she talks back, this is going to be your yeah. mom mm -hmm. walked through a snowstorm uphill both Maybe ways. we'll just have a PowerPoint. Isn't that what you would do? A PowerPoint is the least of it. What's that? What's that? You said you want a phone for your birthday? Well, let me tell you what I got you for your very first birthday. Life, the gift of life. And I had to walk a quarter mile through the woods in snow and Stafford County things to get it. That is good parenting. By the way, I chose this next story, which is out of Arlington, Virginia, because it's hilarious. The Transportation Security Administration, or TSA, released its list of the top 10 catches of 2021 and Reagan Washington National Airport made the list thanks to a confiscated machete that's seen better days. What y'all doing, DMV? I mean, I, I just need to, which, was somebody coming from liberating a war-torn country? Or did Jason Voorhees go on vacation from Camp Crystal Lake? I need an explanation. Who tried to carry this machete on the plane? More importantly, I need to know why does the machete look like it was just used in a murder? Why? I have questions. By the way, the rest of this list is just as crazy, but I'm pre preoccupied with this machete. People tried to fly with bear spray, bullets hidden in deodorant. Yes. Bullets hidden in deodorant, a gun hidden in a giant belt, belt buckle, and a pistol, which apparently Aaron Burr used on Alexander Hamilton. I'm not throwing away my shot. No word on how many of these items were taken from Capitol Riders traveling to and from on January 6th. By the way, the number one item on the list, a chainsaw. Now, now look, I know nobody likes dealing with TSA, but clearly, we need them. So to you guys, I want to thank you for being the club bouncers of the sky. I'll tell your story. By the way, are you ready for another one? I'm willing to wait for it. I chose this next story because it's an uplifting story from the Department of Treasury of all places. The United States Mint is now shipping quarters featuring the likeness of poet Maya Angelou, which by the way, are the first coins in its American Women Quarters program. A phenomenal tribute for a phenomenal woman. Next time you're buying coffee on the pulse of the morning, you can pay for it in Maya's. Now, I'm still waiting on my Harriet Tubman $20 bill though. Until we get those tub dubs, I want my Dubmans. The Maya Angelou Quarters will have to hold us down. Now, this is cool because future generations will be introduced to Maya Angelou through these coins. It's kind of a jingly jangly way to learn, but it's a nice honor and still Maya rises. And last, I'm going with a ratchet story out of Los Angeles to balance things out. After that classy one, a California appellate court ruled that the LAPD was justified in firing two officers for playing Pokemon Go instead of responding to a robbery in progress. The LAPD says an in-car camera recorded them ignoring the robbery call and continuing to play Pokemon Go. I hope catching that Snorlax was worth it. Now they got all day to play games on their phones. That's what happens when you choose catching Pokemon over catching criminals. Imagine calling the police 
And the responding officer says, hey, just, just hold on. Just let me see what Pikachu and them talking about. Officers can beat up citizens and keep their jobs, but Pokemon is what gets them fired. That deserves a whole monologue to itself. By the way, my favorite story, you know it got to be the Pokemon cops. Got to catch them all is what you should be saying about bad guys, not cute little video game characters. And by the way, if you're going to get fired over a video game, at least let it be Street Fighter or Tekken. Then I would tell your story. 